for many businesses, opening up with all the new cleaning and social distancing measures in place to guard against COVID-19 isn't an easy task. But for hands-on services like physiotherapy, where most of your day and job is touching people, it's an even greater challenge, especially if your clinic was just a few months old when the pandemic hit. So myself and uh, my business partner Ingrid Witt opened uh, mid-October and we got busy right away. We were, we brought on another physiotherapist <clears throat> and then, you know, we had to shut down with uh, COVID mid-March. At that point, um, we had to pivot and go to uh, tele-rehab, uh, which is basically online assessments and treatments. Uh, at the end of the day, I was exhausted. You know, because you're just talking nonstop and then listening very intently, and then sure enough, you know, it would the, the laptop would fall over. Or, you know, so since then, uh, you know, mid May, we've now sort of had to pivot again. So basically, like opening the business again for the third time. <laughs> Uh, and, you know, sort of complying with all the, the regulations and stuff like that. He says one of the most rewarding parts of this whole experience has been watching the way the community has come together, both on a local and national scale. Physio clinics and chiro clinics and massage clinics, as much as we're part of a community, we've never really had to come together to try to solve a problem, uh, like on this scale. And so there's uh, clinic owners across Canada that have been on Facebook forums, like a closed Facebook forum, and discussing every issue in terms of, you know, how do we address patient needs and how do we, you know, what's the best thing to disinfect and what are the best sources for PPE and all these kind of things. Um, and then also getting assistance from a lot of local companies. So like Okanagan Spirits, I, they're amazing. For all the challenges, they say they're looking forward to navigating the new normal and getting back to human contact, even if there is through a glove and behind a mask. For Car News in Kelowna, I'm Laura Brooks.